about United today, and we, we feel that we should start with this from our league owner, Solskjaer. He says, it's going to be the f um, it's going to be survivor of the fittest or survivor of the best. That's how ruthless we have to be. We need players here who are going to be able to take us forward. That means culture in the dressing room and what we do every single day here to make us challenge again. That feels like almost an ultimatum to the players that you have to perform for me, you have to deliver for me. So let's talk about what this man can do to take United back to where the club want them to be, which is challenging for the Premier League, challenging genuinely for the Champions League. How close is this current Manchester United team and squad to being Premier League champions? I don't think we're particularly close at the minute. Um, I think you're looking at what the third or fourth manager, and it feels like it feels like you almost need a full rebuild again. Um, I think a lot of people are expecting United, and I think probably all themselves are expecting United to challenge for the league next year. At this minute. I just can't see it. Um, I know Liverpool have been challenging for the league this year, but they were showing signs for the season before, the season before that, that they were looking like a team who could challenge for the Premier League. And they've, they've proven that this year, that, that they, they will do that. With United, there's nothing, there's nothing telling me with what I'm seeing that they are going to be challenged for the league next year. But give it 200 million, whatever it might be. Give Oli a summer, a, a transfer window. He's going to have to in, improve his team massively, not just by new players, but with some of the players he's got, and he's got he's got a really big job on his hands. He, he can't buy ten players, can he? You know, he, he no. has to deal with yeah. whatever he's got, and he has mm. to improve that team. But I'm with Scholes. He, I think the way, way, way off. I really do. Yeah, there are, some, that really, performance there are today. some real quality players in the team. Don't forget, there's four or five. I think that's one. Yeah, but they've some, done it. But you they've need done some it. better players. They spend the money. Same conversation you had two years ago, maybe not here, but some other people. People are talking about it. For six years, seven years, Man United are spending money. They're spending money back. Now they're saying we need a centre back. Mm -hmm. Spend money on Lindelof. Big money. You spend money Bailly. on, yeah. on buy. And I'm, uh, to be fair, I don't know, uh, let's say Laporte or Otamendi. Yes. Are they really better players than buy or Lindelof? Player by player. I'm not talking how they play for their clubs. Yeah, yeah. And then when you go, Man United, up front, Lukaku, Sanchez, Martial, Rashford. Who, who, who is better today? You can't buy better players than those players. What I'm saying is what Ole said, like these mm. words, they are very strong words. For me now, it's up to the board to make him strong. And you don't make a manager strong just by giving him a contract. No. Years, you have to years. back him. Financially, yeah. you are settled. Financially, but that mm. doesn't mean you are strong. For me, they have to give him uh, uh, the power, the power of attorney to do this. First, sort out the dressing room, sort out the situation, improve your squad, uh, improve your team. It's, uh, improve your team doesn't only mean that you're going to train hard or uh, combinations, opening game or whatever. So, may, uh, Show, your, show, show that you are proper boss. And the club has to give him that power now. First of all, sort the situation with your best player. Sort the situation with Pogba. We spoke before. Now, there are a few ways of doing it. But Solskjaer is in a driving seat. And if United wants to make a new Ferguson or somebody with that power, then they have to tell him, you decide. And then he has to be the one to say, Pogba, listen, you're going nowhere, you are staying. Because I want you in this team and you will play me. Or he has to say, they have to give him the power to say, listen, I can't tolerate this, yeah, what yeah, you are yeah. doing, you go. go yeah. mm. Not, listen, Ole, you have to manage him, he's 100 million players, he's big asset for us and all that. I think that will put him in a position and that will improve those players who are underperforming. But they've also got to sort out a lot of contractual issues as well with a lot of players. I believe, I'm not entirely sure, Herrera, Mata, Rashford, I think they're all coming to the end, De Gea. And I think the fact that they've given Alexis Sanchez so much money means that the players who are, co are coming up to, uh, up to their they are. renewal date, they're looking across at, at a certain player going, yeah. well, if he's getting X amount, well, I want something near that. 
and then it sort of starts to get out of hand. So they need to nip everything in the bud and sort, start sorting themselves out. He's got a really busy summer ahead of them. Of those four this summer, who would you fight tooth and nail to keep hold of out of that four? None of them. N none of them. Me too. Uh, tooth and nail. I, I, think, I think there was a time going back a few years when if United lost a player, no matter how big a player it was, whether it was David Beckham, Roy Keane, Cristiano at times, it didn't matter. It really didn't matter. But at this point now, if you're losing a Paul Pogba, I know he gets some stick for his inconsistency. We know that. But he still scored 15 goals this season. And if you sell Pogba now, you know, you're selling your best player. Hand her, I wouldn't worry about but they can buy. But they have to make a statement. They have to sell him. You on their own Ronaldo. terms. When on you their say own terms, terms. Because we want to sell you or we don't want to sell, sell you. Yes. Cristiano Ronaldo, you mentioned. I think I don't follow, follow that much United as you do. But maybe he was the only player in the last decade or whatever that, that left United when United didn't want him to go. Yeah, well, he, he wanted to go. It's United. Yeah. The players are desperate to stay yeah, at United. Yeah, yeah. Don't you think that Jose Mourinho was given the power here? It didn't feel like it, it did feel under Louis van Gaal and under David Moyes that they were being undermined at times. Under Jose Mourinho, it felt like he had the power. He had the I'm control. Sure. The job yeah, right every on manager you. who's come here has had the power. Yeah. They're, they're the one who buy the players. They're the one who spend the money. They've all had the power. It's just. But when you yes, listen you to feel like the money they spent comments, on who they bought, yeah. have Jose's been the wrong comments people. seem to suggest that he, he couldn't necessarily control Pogba when you've seen his comments exactly. since since leaving here, you know. So well, you don't, you should, don't, you that's don't why know. he isn't manager of the club anymore. Yeah. So he couldn't control him. Uh, if you're manager of a club, you can't control your players. Yeah. I, I, I agree. You just get, I'm, I'm with Slavin. You give him all the power. And he, he, if he wants people to leave, he wants people to stay, he should be the man to say, right, he's gone, regardless of whether you've got. 30 million followers on this and whatever, he's out or he's staying and that's the end of it. Do you think they'll do that though? Do you think they'll give, give him, him the that? Power? No. Yeah. He has no, to have the power. He's a manager, he has to. You're saying no? No, they ain't going to give it to him. No. Why not? Why not? Because, why not? Because Paul Pogba is 100 million player or, or 120 or 150. Mm. And I agree with Steve, what he said about Mourinho. Even Mourinho, mm. who normally he always had a power very powerful man or whatever, blah, 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 blah. He didn't have that power. He said, I think, a couple of weeks ago... Yeah, yeah. ...that he couldn't, he wasn't, not given the power, but uh, it was difficult for yeah, him. it was difficult to manage, wasn't it? He was always undermined at various times. And that happens. It's going on at PSG. We know there's various clubs around the world where certain people in the team have this immense power and it... It takes away from other other people in the team, or it detracts on on other times. But it's certainly happened with various players at PSG. It's happened, to, I know, for the past of various players at, at Real Madrid. And Real Madrid. Yeah. The bigger the club is, mm -hmm. the bigger it's the just, problem is. And the, the, the other culture. players know that. Yeah. They find out. Yeah. But if you want to build a club on stars, that's what Alex happens. Alex Ferguson diff difficult players. Yeah, but he dealt but with he them. It. It was, well, so what was different? So why can't you handle it? What was different under Sir Alex Ferguson? Then, do you think in recent times? That he was here for 20 or whatever years. He was building his power up and it was different time. Yeah. Paul, and then he had uh, uh, in his prime, the best, un the best his United was with you, was with the, the younger, play the well, younger the, players. The he knew players, you yeah. when you were 10, 11 or 12. He knew your parents, he knew yeah. your brother, he knew your missus, right. he knew everything. <laughs> now you don't have that time. You don't have that privilege. You were coming to Ferguson. Cantona was coming to Ferguson. Cristiano Ronaldo was coming to Ferguson. Now it's other way around. The manager, the managers, they are changing yeah, every the year. They are coming to the players. So you're it's saying not home. it's not just good enough to give him a contract and give him 200 million quid. You have to then give him time him. And, and power. The power. You have to say to him, your decision will be backed by us. But then he has to win games of football. Yeah. But only in that way he can win them. Only that him, the players have to know that the manager is a boas. You have so many examples. Once, uh, 10 years ago, Werder Bremen, the players went to the chairman or whatever to moan uh, that, the, that the trainings are too hard mm. or whatever. The chairman gave, uh, coach, uh, gave the manager a new contract. Three yeah. years, new contract. Good. That's giving the power, you yeah. know what I mean. Mm. Showing that he's, he's, he's well, the one. Yeah. In the words of Roger, 
I hope Ed Woodward is listening to Slaven Bilic on BT Sport. And that's what it comes down to. It comes down to whether the man that effectively runs this football club gives the power to the manager. Phil Gray says Bilic has it bang on, talking real sense, give Ole the power. And Dennis says Bilic is talking a lot of sense about how Ole can go forwards at this football club. Um, really interesting. I think well, they will that... give him the power, though. I think they will do. Ed Woodward seems to be that type of person. But you think? don't. You still you just hope you just hope he gets it better. Not verbal. There's talk of bringing somebody verbal. in as well, and there's a director of football, technical director, whatever it is. So he maybe came. that will help him. He came. He 